coming back to me Stone and Ivy. You joined me uh, Stone Soul. Just cutting a house, a couple of house sound blocks actually, but uh, in particular the one we're going to be working on today. The customer got in touch, he wants to build a house sign into his red brick wall uh, and the front of his house, I think he's uh, renovating the house. I'll stick some pictures of the wall and the design we actually went through with him on the screen for you to see. So I'm going to cut it out and take it back onto my workbench and then uh, we'll get doing some carving. But we're actually cutting this um, sign inside the container today, we're moving some of the saws about, moving some of the workbenches. I'll let you know more about that in uh, upcoming videos. But because we're inside the container, it can be quite noisy. So what I'm going to suggest is, as well as me, I'm going to put some heavy uh, ear defenders on. Got to think about the uh, PPE. So I'll stick these on, and we'll cut some stout on. So I've got that all marked on the stone, the stencils on, marked up, chisels are sharpened, hammers are ready, safety specs are down there, don't forget them. Um, so I've had a couple of questions come through um, over the last few weeks. Um, Pete, even this morning, a guy called Pete sent me a message asking me questions about the stencils, um, saying he's finding it tricky, where to get them from or how I make them. So we actually make these, here's an example of one. So uh, we get the card, instead of we, we cut them onto the card using the machine, so it's called a Cricut. Um, so it's a computer program we design them up onto, and then it runs. we stick these to a mat, like um, a semi-adhesive mat, so you can peel them off and set, reuse them all the time. Um, and it runs through a really fine blade, like a CNC, but like a really small scale one, just for cutting card, uh, bits of paper, maybe bits of vinyl. So it cuts them out really nice. I like doing it this way for a few reasons. I can relay it onto the stone as many times as I want. I can have the project, um, I can make these all up at home or in the office if I'm having a day in the office. So the jobs are done instead of marking them onto the stone. So I can jump onto a project really quickly if I need to. And another thing is I like making them up with the customer. Um, so the customer, we can send it through to the customer as a computer image and we can tweak it, we can change it, the layout, the font of how it's going to look instead of marking it on the stone, rubbing it out, marking it back on, changing the layout, um, tweaking it here and there and it gives us a lot more font options as well. I do like doing it the traditional way while marking it onto stone. I used to do it more so years ago, um, but now I suppose this seems to be the uh, preferred option now, but no. so. I am going to do a program or a video about the program we use um, and how to, it's just finding time, getting in the office, we've got a lot going on, I might even be able to just take the laptop home and do it from home, but I'll try and uh, pull my finger out and get that video made. So yeah, that's how I make them, so I don't buy them, we make them ourselves, um, cut them out. Used to, years ago, if you, depending on how simple it is, and I have do done this in another video, how to carve your own house sign with tools around the house. I've printed them off, uh, print, stick them to a piece of card or pizza box or um, just any boxes from around the house and then cut them out of a Stanley knife. That can work if you've got a simple project. I've done that many a time. The second thing I want to say while I'm here is um, Pete Har no, Rob Harris, Pete Harris is a guy who supplies them, so Rob Harris um, sent in a little tip for you. So he was saying um, if you go around corners when you're carving, uh, sharpen one of your chisels on an angle. I'll actually put on the screen the picture he sent me of his chisel that sharpened on an angle. We actually do this as a couple of chisels on there. We've got a slight angle on them. Um, so this one here is carved. This four mil is carved on a slight angle to for going around corners. Um, I do use it from time to time, and I've also mentioned it in a, a video right from when I first started. But that's a great tip there from from Rob. Yeah. So I'll put his picture of his chisel. He's sharpened. On the screen so you can see the angle he's done it and how how much he's got on that angle there for going around the corners so that's a great tip so thanks for that so what i'm going to do now 
pick them safety specs up and um, I'll get doing some carving. That's it, I'm all finished up. It's turned out well, quite enjoyed carving that font, it was nice. Working inside the workshop, it's, um, it's been six degrees this morning when I got to work, it's going to be four degrees tonight, so it was a little bit colder, so it was nice working inside. It said um, four degrees tonight, it's going to be really cold, but I was tempted to have the log burner on at one point, eh? didn't, didn't give in to it, but I was tempted. I did have an uh, extra large cup of tea to keep me warm and soup for my dinner. But yeah, I'm happy about how that's turned out. I'm going to uh, email the customer now, see if they want it painting. Sometimes we'll go for a stage where the customers give me all the information they want, whether they want it painted or what colour. This customer, again, like the previous customer we've just done with the slate, they want to see it before they decide whether I'm it painted or not. So I'll send that over and then it's going to uh, Norfolk. If you're still here watching this video, it must mean you're interested in stone or want to learn something about stone or just like watching the videos then why not hit subscribe button so you can see all the other videos and be part of the Greenstone Ivy community moving forward. I appreciate your time watching and I'll see you next time.